I wrote my Java application to emulate the older style synthesizers that used patch cords for plugging in different modules along the lines of the old Moog system. Now, because of that flexibility and the capability of connecting different modules together in different ways, I decided that I was going to approach arpeggiating in the different ways that I've discovered with this system. The first approach is to take two oscillators, one running slowly in a square wave and using that to gate the input of the audio oscillator. What this gives me is control over the frequency and the rate of the oscillation plus the on versus off ratio time. And with the audio oscillator I can change the uh, waveform as well. If I change the waveform I can get different effects and I can also change the uh, on time off time ratio of the gate oscillator. So the second approach is to use the same uh, two oscillators but an envelope generator, an ADSR, and use the gate oscillator to gate the ADSR. In this case, the audio from the ADSR is a little low because of the setting of sustain. The approach now gives envelope shaping. as well as gate frequency and ratio. A third approach is to still stay with the two oscillators, but this time use the square wave generator for driving the frequency of the audio oscillator. This time, because the one oscillator is controlling the frequency of the second, the keyboard itself is just simply used for the gate signal, for turning it on and off. So you can change the frequency of the square wave. And now, the output of the square wave generator is being used for specifying the upper and lower frequencies of the trill. And that is controlled through an attenuate, attenuator. The attenuator handles uh, modifying the square wave from plus minus one to uh, anything in between that in order to make the difference between the upper and lower frequencies smaller. And then the total control of frequency the total control of frequency 
is through a second amplifier into the audio oscillator. Now, a second approach is to use a dedicated arpeggiator module. The idea here is that we can now apply different patterns to whatever key is being pressed. We can change the pattern step rate, the arpeggiating rate, the on-off ratio, the size of the steps through the pattern. And then whether or not there's any gating. Right now, this is similar to the earlier approach, which uh, used a trill, or produced a trill. There's no off time between notes. Here, no off time between notes. And now we have the off time. The second approach is to treat it like a gated uh, ADSR. So each step through the pattern causes the ADSR to trigger, giving us the attack, delay, or decay, sustain, and release phases. So we can either go with something along the lines of a trill, or we can gate. Without the ADSR effects and with them. 